news, Pokemon Unite has officially dropped the trailer for the new game mode called Catch'em Battles. It releases on the 30th of May and it's an all new battle where you can play as legendary Pokemon, as all the wild Pokemon in Pokemon Unite. It's insane. In this video, I'm going to go through the trailer. We're going to break it down as well. There are some things that I've noticed that you probably might have not caught. So feel free to keep watching it after the trailer ends to see all the things that I picked up on. The mechanics of this are very, very interesting. For the question of the day, which wild Pokemon are you excited to play as? Let me know in the comments down below. I just can't wait to be Ludicolo and take out Zapdos or Articuno because I think it'd be funny. <laughs> so we already have Articuno and Zapdos fighting each other here. I'm very excited. I haven't seen this yet. Okay, so we have them fighting. We have all of the Pokemon that you can play as and I wonder what happens. I guess it goes to the person who last hits them. Look at all the Pokemon you can become. That's crazy. So we have Cinderace fighting Ludicolo and I guess once you take them out, you can turn, you can swap into them. What abilities do we have here? So, oh my gosh, I played a little color, it was so funny. Water Gun and Giga Drain, oh my gosh. Wait, wait, you can play it stealthy? Like, they won't know that you're the wild Pokemon, or will they know? I'm wondering if they'll have the, uh, the health bar above their heads. That's crazy. Look, if no one's rotating to Zapdos and no one's rotating to Dreadnought, you can now be Dreadnought, be Zapdos, and rotate to your teammates. This is really relevant because today, no one rotated to Zapdos in my games. That is so fun! So it's from... Wait, how long is this for? So it's a 4v4. Let's see if we can break this down a little bit. Just playing as a legendary birds. I wish Moltres was already in the game because then you would have all three of them and that is just such a vibe, honestly. You can see some of the abilities here. So I'm guessing the map always stays like this. So there's two Dreadnoughts. <laughs> we have the Dreadnought, we have the Articuno. I guess Zapdos is on the bottom. So everything on this map you can change into. Here, it looks like you have a certain amount of time to change into them. So once this goes away, you can't turn into them anymore. So it means that you can strategically use them at a certain point. Like you don't wanna waste it if you're like nowhere near enemies or nowhere near like things you wanna get. So this is really cool. You do have a limited time to turn into the Pokemon that you've caught. And I'm very excited to see the abilities that we get. This part here specifically interests me. Like I'm wondering if you can see the enemy's health bar when they turn into a wild Pokemon. I mean, I think you would be able to. In the gameplay, I couldn't find anywhere where the enemy team was a wild Pokemon and you could see their health bar, but that's because they probably have it hidden for this trailer. However, how cool would it be if you could trick team? Oh, well, you know what you could do? You could hide in the bush and then like self-destruct. So it looks like this one one-shots them, which makes sense because self-destruct is, you know, <laughs> deadly. I am so excited for this game mode. This is insane. I'm guessing this is like a little timer for how long you are as the Pokemon. So you can see it's going down, which is really interesting because that means you can kind of strategize with your teammates because you can see how long they have left as well as a certain Pokemon. So that is something that you should take note of. So our Chico Eevee posted this a while ago that the Pokemon that you can play as is Ludicolo, Zapdos, Dreadnor, Dupida, I don't know if I'm saying this right, sorry, Regigas, Avalug, Electroid, Tauros, Articuno, and Rotom. I am very excited to play as all of these. Another thing that I noticed is that Zero Aura here is low health fighting three enemies, and you know, that's a really bad situation. But if he swaps, he actually gets, you get the health of the wild Pokemon that you're going to turn into, I'm guessing. I, I think that's what's happening, I'm not too sure. But like, you could hold on to like, however long you have to swap into that wild Pokemon. And then when you're low health, just swap into them and you have all this health back. And now he turns around the fight because he has all this health and he's just super strong. That's insane. Also, when Zero Aura turns, they also are pushed back and stunned. So you can see that they all get pushed back inside. I don't know if it's because it's so big or if it's like, I don't know if each wild Pokemon has a different effect, but we can see here that when Zero Aura transforms, they're just all pushed away and they're all stunned for a little bit. So that's something really interesting as well. I just cannot wait. This is insane. This is so cool. 
I'm definitely going to be making videos and I'm going to try and play as all of them as well. So if you want to be notified for that, feel free to click the bell, subscribe, etc. Like the video if you're very excited for this game mode. I am so excited for this. This is going to be a very fun time. <laughs> okay, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Just a little bit of an update about, you know, what's coming. It looks like we did get it right that this game mode was one of the hidden trailers or hidden videos, which is really cool. So now we just have three more to look forward to. Okay, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching trailers. I'll catch you for the next one. Bye.